Good morning, everybody. Thank goodness, thank God. It's Friday. It's time for morning manna. So thankful and grateful that you permit me to be and speak into your life. Going to give you some revelation on this morning. It's the text, the talk, and the takeaway. I'm going to give Facebook Live about a half a second to get together our live audience, and then I'm going to jump right into this morning's man. I got a great word for you on this morning. TGIF, thank God, thank goodness, it's Friday. Looking forward to a great weekend. I hope you are. I am. If it's your first, second, or third time with us, then let us know so we can shout you out. Here is what we like for you to do. We love for you to give the comments so we can respond all during the day. Like to ask you questions during the day as well. And we respond and then uh, give us also the hearts and the likes and it lets us know um, what we're sharing is uh, on point. Uh, also share it. So we're going to get right into this morning's manna. As you know, the NFL draft is yesterday and still ongoing. So we want to talk about your family draft, your family draft. Here is the text. The text is this, Genesis 37 and 4. Genesis 37 and 4. Listen closely. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. What's going on in the text? Here is the context of the text. Here is the text talking about Joseph and the hatred of his brothers. They hated him so bad because his father favored him more than he favored them. He loved them more, he gave them the famous coat of many colors. Let's talk about the family draft, the family draft. What does that look like? Here's the talk about the text. The first thing is this, you need to get this. You can't pick your family. You can't. I'm sorry we're talking about family still. You can't pick your family. You can pick your job. You can pick your car. You can pick the house you're going to live in. You're going to you can pick the restaurant you're going to eat at. You're going to pick the hotel that you spend a vacation in. You you can pick uh uh anything. You can pick your girlfriend, your boyfriend. You can pick your spouse. But you cannot pick your family. I'm sorry, when you woke up into life, the family that surrounded you was already picked for you. You can't pick your family. So that leads me to the second thing, which is which is really helps you with the first thing is, since you can't pick your family, you got to pull on God because God picked your family. <laughs> That's right, God picked your family for you. So that means you got to pull on God so that he can help you with the family that he picked for you. You you got to. You Who else are you going to go to? He's the one that picked the team that you're on. So you got to pull on him. Here's the third thing that I really want you to get. You have to play with the team that you're on. You got to play life with the team that you're already on. You can't divorce your family. I don't care what they're doing in uh, our justice system these days. A long time ago, there was a child that divorced from their parents. But look, you, you, you got to play with the team that you're on, baby, because that's the family that the Lord picked for you. So you got to play life with the team that you're on. What's your takeaway this morning? I want you to get it. Here's the revelation. Here's the revelation that you got to get. You are God's number one draft pick so that you can help the team that you're on win. You're God's number one draft pick. You're looking around at all of your family distress and family life, and it's not what you want it to be, and I wish it was this, I wish it was that, but you're the number one draft pick. God picked you to make your family team a winner. So go out and win with them today. You can't pick anybody else. That's your family that God gave to you. And you are the Joseph in your family. You got favor on your life. You got the coat of many colors. You're going to have to go through some things. But in the end, it's all going to be for the good of the family and the kingdom. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. And uh, have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday 
with more morning manner. God bless you. Bye.